In this video, I will demonstrate my no sew filter option that fits inside the pocket of the Olsen face mask. I developed this no sew version so that you do not need to pierce the filter fabric in any way and so that those who have been given face masks and do not sew can easily replace their filters. This pattern PDF is linked below. Please print the pattern and check the gauge block to make sure it correctly measures one inch. Cut the pattern out with paper scissors. I will defer to the New York Times article linked below to discuss filter choices. As you can see, this New York Times article states that a rating of 0.3 microns and a microparticle performance rating of 1900 or more is best for this purpose. Notice that if you use this kind of filter, you should only use it sandwiched between two pieces of cotton fabric, such as in this Olsen mask pocket, to filter out any filter fibers that may be inhaled into your lungs. I purchased this 3M filter with the correct specifications. I cut off the cardboard frame and pulled off the grid work on the front and the back. I trimmed around the edges to remove hot glue where the cardboard frame was attached. I stretched out my fabric. At this point, I have filter yardage. Ironically, you probably should wear a mask during this step to avoid inhaling any fibers you may stir up in the process. Fold your filter fabric. Lay the pattern on the filter fabric with the indicated fold line on the filter fabric fold. Many are concerned about the use of pins. If you are a sewer and have wonder clips on hand, then you can use that product. If you are not, then you may have some of these household items on hand to use instead. Close pins, chip clips, refrigerator magnet clips, or binder clips. Also, some sewers like to use weights made for holding patterns on fabric, but a can may substitute nicely if you are using a rotary cutter. This pattern piece is so small, however, that I can easily just hold it with my hand or trace the three sides with a pencil, which is what I have chosen to do here. Remove the paper pattern and, while firmly holding both layers together, cut the filter fabric with paper scissors. Cut off the line you traced so that it will not be too big. Open up your filter and lay it on the mouth side of a mask just above the lower top stitched seam. Line up the center seam of the mask and the fold line of the filter. Smooth the filter up towards the nose. As you get to the nose cavity, a little triangle of filter fabric will form. Just turn that to one side and check to make sure that your filter fits nicely around your top stitching and your wire sleeve. If it does, go ahead and insert it in the pocket. Repeat the process of smoothing it into the nose cavity and around the wire sleeve while it is in the pocket. Tuck the filter wings under the cheek flaps and you have successfully created a no-sew filter. If, however, your filter seems a bit too large, you may go ahead and trim the excess filter fabric above and below your top stitching. Remember, the CDC recommends cotton fabrics for masks. Unfortunately, cotton fabric tends to shrink when it is washed and dried. You can use this characteristic to your advantage here, though. If you find that the mask pattern is a bit big for your face, then the shrinkage may be welcome. If you need your mask as large as possible, make sure you pre-shrink or wash and dry your fabric and press it before cutting out and sewing your mask fabric pieces. I hope you have enjoyed this video and feel that it has provided you with a safer and more accessible filter option. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. For your convenience, I have linked the filters below. I have linked my Olsen mask video tutorial that gives directions and tips for fast and efficient production of these masks. If you are making these masks, I encourage you to watch in order to shave considerable time off the process. As data becomes more readily available, please add additional scientific links for the filter performance articles in the comments, but not opinion articles or personal blogs. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, give a mask.